Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, we will see scenario 1 and 2. What happens when the node goes down? What is the effect on the data on that node? The data set for which that particular node is responsible becomes unavailable. All the other nodes will continue serving their data. What about the reads and writes to that node? They will fail until manual action takes place on the cluster, which means until you do failover and rebalance or until you rebalance, reads and writes will be failing. Will replicas get automatically promoted to active? Couchbase currently don't allow reading from replicas in order to enforce the very strong consistency. If you want, get from replica can be explicitly called through an API to get the data from the replica to avoid disruption. So as I told earlier, here in this situation, we are assuming that auto failover is not configured and our cluster may be running with two nodes. So that is why in case if you have configured auto failover that we are going to discuss later, it will be automatically promote the replicas as active after the specified number of seconds in the settings. Scenario 2, note that went down comes back. What is the effect on the data on that node? The data set that the node responsible for is fully available. Is the data reachable? Yes. Is that stale data? No, the data is not stale. Let's practically check it out. I have my test cluster running with two nodes. I don't have any buckets yet. For the demonstration purpose, I am creating a test bucket giving 100 MB size. This is per node. Total will be creating 200 MB bucket. I'm enabling replica one, enabling flush as well bucket is created right now my cluster is running with only two nodes and auto failover also not enabled let's go to documents you can ignore this warning because there is no index available on the test bucket it is always good to create an index on an empty bucket rather than creating an index on the bucket with some data it will take some time for building that index right now there are no indexes let me go to the query tab and create an index since this is a test cluster i am creating a primary index please note that in real world we never create a primary index on a production server until and unless it is really 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 required because couchbase also recommending don't create primary indexes on the production clusters because it will impact performance very badly and the primary index will consume lots and lots of resources so if you need an index let's go with secondary index I'm executing this. I can see the index now. It is in ready state. So once you create the index, initially it will be in building state. If your bucket is holding huge amount of data, the index build will take time. Right now the index is in ready state, so we can use the index. Let me go to the buckets again. Documents. There are no documents. For the demonstration purpose, I am creating a few dummy documents. Now document. Doc one. Simply pasting the code. Doctor. So I have created five documents. On the server tab, if you see here, this node is having three documents and two replicas. This node is having two documents and three replicas. Now, I will bring down the second node and will see if I am able to access the data on that particular node. As per the scenario one, I should not access two documents when this node is down. Let's see that. Before bringing this down, let me query the data. Now I can see the data for doc1, doc2. So I'm able to get the data for all the five documents. Now let me stop Couchbase service on the second node. So the node is down now. Let's try to query data now. I'm able to get the data for doc1, doc2. Doc3, I got error, unable to complete action. Doc4, unable to get. Doc5, also I am getting error, unable to complete action. So I am not able to access two documents. So that is the scenario because this node is responsible for the two documents. Now, scenario 2. Node that went down comes back. The data set that the node responsible for is fully available. 
let's bring up that node and see if we are able to access the two documents that we are not able to now the node is in orange now which means in warm up so right now it is green let's query all the five documents now and see now doc5 i am able to access doc4 also good doc3 also good so now i am able to access all the data so that's all about scenario 1 and 2 see you in the next lecture thank you